If ryegrass forms any part of your pasture, then it's really important to understand the principle of three leaf grazing management with your ryegrass. So the key elements of that are, when you introduce the animals to a paddock, that the ryegrass is at two to three leaf or before canopy closure. The reason for that principle is that a ryegrass plant in particular, the second and the third leaf, they get bigger. With that third leaf that emerges, and this I've got an example here, there's one, this is the second leaf and the third leaf coming out. The third leaf has 50% of the dry matter of that growth period since the last grazing. So we've got to be, as managers, we've got to be very patient for to let that third leaf emerge where we get most of our dry matter. We don't want the pasture to be so heavy and shading the bottom of the sward, we need sunlight to get in the bottom there to help create tillers on ryegrass. So, so we try and avoid canopy closure if, if, we, if at all possible. So the rotation speed is set by leaf emergence. And the leaf emergence rate is determined by temperature and sunlight. So that changes during the growing season. That's why it's really important to go do in paddock assessments on leaf emergence and um, determine that leaf emergence rate, which sets our rotation speed. When you come out the paddock, there's a lot of quite a bit of variation out there. And so it takes probably not just one plant, you need to probably get a series of plants and, and have a look at them and see where the leaf emergence is. And it's important when you're taking uh, plants to look at the, the leaf emergence is to take areas that were grazed in the last round. So quite often you'll have dung patches that are, were, weren't grazed in the last rotation, so try and avoid those areas. As you can see, we've got a bit of a variation in the way the plants look. Here's a plant with a number of tillers on it. Remove the number of tillers and not get them mistaken for a leaf. So there we have a typical tiller. That was where it was grazed last time, is this leaf here. And that's probably come out a little bit. If we know that's probably come out a little bit, we've got to add a little bit for that one. So we've definitely got one, we've definitely got two. Oh, we've got two and a bit, and we've probably had a little bit here. So that 2.25 leaf, I would estimate 2.3. So I've got another one, another one here. So I'll try and get rid of some of the tillers. This is a, you know, a much more robust plant. Again, that leaf from the last grazing has, has come out of the sheath there. So that's probably nearly three quarter a leaf there, one there, and probably another half. So probably just over two again. Look at all these plants and try and come up with a, with a good, good number that can be relied on. So now we've done our pre-grazing leaf assessment, we can also look back in time and, and try and set our rotation speed. So if we're happy with our assessment at 2.3 leaves, and it's been say 25 days since the last grazing here, then that's just under 10 days per leaf. So a leaf is emerging in just under 10 days. So if we're targeting three leaf ryegrass, then our rotation speed should be just under 30 days.